ever wondered how one tiny island nation managed to rule over a quarter of the world? From the windswept moors of Scotland to the sun-kissed beaches of the Caribbean, the British Empire expanded its reach far and wide, leaving an indelible mark on history. It's a tale of power, ambition, and resilience. A story that continues to shape our world even today. So, strap in and prepare for a whirlwind tour of history. Join us on a journey back in time to the origins of the British Empire. Our story begins in the late 15th century, with England embarking on a path of exploration and conquest. A time of change, of new worlds, and of great discoveries. The seeds of an empire were sown in the soil of ambition, nurtured by the thirst for power, and blossomed under the endless skies of uncharted territories. England, a country not yet a global power, dipped its toes into the vast waters of the unknown. It was a time when the world was being redrawn, and England, driven by a desire for wealth and prestige, decided to carve out a peace for itself. The first significant step was taken by a man named John Cabot, an Italian explorer under the English flag. In 1497, he made a voyage across the Atlantic, reaching what he believed was Asia but was in fact the coasts of North America. His journey marked the beginning of England's imperial ambitions, setting a precedent for future explorers and colonizers. The British Isles, a modest landmass began to reach beyond its borders, its influence slowly creeping across the globe. The late 16th century saw the establishment of the first English colonies in North America and the Caribbean. The pursuit of trade, wealth and power led to the creation of settlements in Virginia and the Caribbean islands. These colonies were the first tendrils of what would grow into a colossal empire, weaving a web of influence that would cast a shadow across continents. These early colonies born out of ambition and the spirit of exploration were the building blocks of an empire. The colonizers brought with them their language, culture and institutions planting them in distant lands. Each new colony was another star in the constellation of the British Empire, each one contributing to its growing might. The colonization of North America and the Caribbean marked the beginning of an era of British imperialism, a time when the sun would barely set on the British Empire. It was a period of rapid expansion and relentless ambition. Thus, the foundation was laid for an empire that would span continents. The 18th and 19th centuries saw the rapid expansion of the British Empire. Yes, it was during these centuries that the empire truly began to take shape, a testament to the power of innovation, ambition, and the allure of the unknown. Enter the Industrial Revolution. As the world turned toward steam power and mechanization, Britain being the birthplace of this revolution, was at the forefront. With new machines came new opportunities, and Britain seized them. The empire expanded, driven by the need for resources to fuel its industries and markets. But the British Empire's growth was not just about economics, it was also about power and prestige. And nothing exemplified this more than its control over India. Known as the jewel in the crown, India was the empire's most valuable possession. It was not just about the spices or the textiles, but the symbolism. Control over such a vast and diverse land was a clear indication of the empire's might. Yet, the empire's reach was not limited to India. From the sun-baked plains of Africa to the tropical islands of the Pacific, the British flag was hoisted high. Territories were acquired, either through negotiation, economic dominance, or outright conquest. Each new territory added was another testament to the empire's growing influence. In Africa, territories like Egypt, Sudan, and South Africa came under British control. The Pacific saw the addition of Australia, New Zealand, and several island groups. Each acquisition was a strategic move, aimed at asserting control, expanding trade, or simply denying rivals. And so the empire grew. It spread its wings, reaching corners of the world where the sun never set. It was an era of exploration, adventure, and expansion. But it was also an era marked by conflict, exploitation, and the reshaping of societies. By the end of the 19th century, the British Empire was the largest in history. It was an empire where the sun never set, a global power that had left an indelible mark on the world. It was an empire that had been built piece by piece, territory by territory, over the course of two centuries. The 20th century brought unprecedented challenges to the British Empire. As the global landscape shifted, the empire found itself grappling with a rapidly changing world. World War I was a major turning point. The war strained Britain's resources, both human and material, to their limits. By the time the guns fell silent, the empire was deeply scarred. 
its strength sapped. But the war also sparked a surge of nationalism in the colonies. Men who had fought side by side with their colonial masters in the trenches of Europe returned home with a new sense of self and a burning desire for independence. World War II only accelerated these trends. The colonies were again called upon to contribute to the war effort, further stoking the fires of nationalism. The war also left Britain economically exhausted and no longer capable of maintaining its vast empire. In the aftermath of the wars, the process of decolonization began. India, the jewel in the crown, gained independence in 1947, setting a precedent for other colonies. This was followed by a wave of independence movements across Africa, Asia and the Caribbean. Britain, recognizing the winds of change, chose to decolonize relatively peacefully. The empire was dismantled, not through violent revolution, but through negotiations and the transfer of power. Yet decolonization was not without its challenges. There were conflicts and struggles and the legacy of colonial rule often left newly independent nations grappling with deep-seated issues. By the mid-20th century, the map of the world had been redrawn. The once vast British Empire, which had spanned continents and oceans, was reduced to a handful of overseas territories. In the end, the decline and decolonization of the British Empire was not just the result of economic or military pressures. It was also a reflection of the changing attitudes towards imperialism and colonialism. The sun began to set on the British Empire. But the story of the empire, its rise and fall, continues to shape our world today. Today the British Empire is a thing of the past, but its legacy continues to shape our world. It's like a grand tapestry woven with threads of cultural, political and economic impacts that have stretched out across the globe. Let's start with the cultural impacts. The English language for instance. It's not just the language of Shakespeare and Dickens anymore, it's become the lingua franca of the world, used in business, science and international diplomacy. It's the language of the internet, of global media, and it's all thanks to the reach of the empire that once spanned a quarter of the globe. And then there's the political legacy. The British Empire exported its system of parliamentary democracy far and wide. From Canada to Australia, from India to South Africa, nations once under British rule have adopted this form of government, tweaking it to their own unique contexts. This enduring legacy has shaped the political landscapes of nations across continents. But the impact of the empire doesn't stop there. It extended to the economic realm as well. The global trade networks established during the height of the empire are still in operation today. The empire's insatiable appetite for resources spurred exploration and exploitation, and the trade routes developed then continue to be the arteries of our global economy. Even the very concept of globalization has its roots in the British Empire. The empire's interconnectedness, its crisscrossing trade routes and its cultural exchange, all these were precursors to the modern globalized world we live in today. But let's not forget, this legacy is not without its dark side. The empire's history is also a tale of exploitation, of cultures subjugated, of resources plundered. The echoes of these injustices still reverberate today, adding a somber note to this grand legacy. The British Empire may have faded into history, but its impact is still felt around the globe. It's a testament to the enduring influence of an empire that, at its height, touched every corner of the world. From humble beginnings to global dominance, the British Empire's story is one of exploration, conquest and transformation. It all began as a modest seafaring nation spurred on by the spirit of adventure and a thirst for the unknown. That spirit would lead Britain to the far corners of the globe, establishing new colonies and claiming vast territories. At its zenith, the sun never set on the British Empire. Such was its expanse, stretching across continents, that somewhere under its rule the day was always dawning. It was an era of unprecedented power and influence, yet it was not to last forever. The winds of change began to blow leading to the decline and eventual decolonization. Countries once under the British rule began to assert their independence, marking the beginning of the end for the empire. Yet even in its decline, the empire left an indelible mark on the world. The legacy of the British Empire is a complex tapestry woven with threads of cultural exchange, economic development, and at times conflict and strife. It has shaped our modern world in countless ways, from our political systems to our global economy to the very language we speak. And so we close the chapter on the British Empire, a story of power and influence that continues to echo in our world today.